What up, everybody? Po, po, po! Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Saturday. I think it, yeah, Saturday. And I'm on my way to go to Tommy's house so we can actually start getting getting more of our products ready for the catfish conference coming up next weekend and I got a bunch of decals here in the truck with me that I just got done weeding out um, you know we'll get some more footage when uh, when I get over there and we're gonna gonna be working most of the day Hopefully we can get everything done and ready before next weekend. We're going to be taking off Thursday and getting down there, getting everything set up. Uh, if you guys are wanting to come to the Catfish Conference, by all means, we're going to have a couple drawings that we're going to do for. We've got a couple poles that were donated to us. That way we can uh, raffle them off and everything else. And traffic sucks. Plain and simple. And I'm going, I don't care. Anyways. And it's cold and crap outside. Hopefully that weather over there is better than here. <clears throat> so, yeah. But we're going to have a good day. We'll, uh... I don't know. Maybe I'll just let you sit here and enjoy the ride. Drive sucks. It's about a half hour. But, you gotta get used to it anyways, because eventually we're gonna be doing that hour and a half drive up to the lake. And about a seven hour drive to Kentucky. So, anyways. But we'll come back once I get over there to Tommy's. And, uh, we'll get the camera set up. We may even go live. Who knows? We might do a Facebook Live. But you guys won't see that because this will be after the fact. Because I'm going to have to go home and do a bunch of editing and what have you. Still learning that process and, and everything. A bunch of old people out. What the heck? Anyways. Do, do, I need to get in here. Wouldn't figure there'd be too many people out this morning. It's cold. I don't even want to get out. So, anyways, but like I said, we'll uh, we'll get back to you once we uh, once we start getting in our groove, making things. Like I said, we got coffee cups to make. We've got T-shirts we got to do. Uh, you guys will meet be able to meet CW. He's coming over. He's gonna be. Uh, He's going to be one of our boaters this year. He's got to go on a couple trips with us. And, uh, yeah, so some of you guys that come out on trips, you might be able to go with him, me, Tommy. Uh, but we'll see. So, like I said, we'll get back to you once I get over there and uh, do some more filming. We'll It's our new logo there. Yep, 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 yep. So, right now, we're just, uh, told you I'd get back to you once we got the Tommies. So, we're over here, and, uh, I'm gonna walk over here. here here's his big-ass printer. And you know, ignore the mess. I've been very, very busy lately, and I have not cleaned up 
But this machine right here was a pain in the butt to get into the house. Yep. And right now it's printing one of the shirts that we're doing. It's extremely heavy. Uh oh. Tommy's forgetting something. But right now he's just putting down a base layer of white. And once it gets done, it'll uh CW ain't gonna be able to make it today. What? Yeah. I told everybody at CW is coming over. Well, he's not gonna be able to make it today. He just sent me a message. He had another problem with his vehicle, so it's back at the shop. Well, that sucks. So, so anyways, yeah. There's the first base layer of white. Well, it's gonna. Oh no, he's got a new process he's doing. I don't care. I'm just. I'm looking. I'm just doing this to make sure that the. Uh, fibers from the shirt stay down that way uh, when it's pressed secure it won't pull any of the ink off so that's all I'm doing so and it's letting it dry a little bit for a few seconds to make it more tacky to where it'll just stick but the ink will just stick better and look better now we got his heat press over here this yeah. is the thing you know we're we're pressing these things 330 degrees Yep. Now, every once in a while, Tommy likes to be a dumbass and hit himself on it and burn him. Shut up. <laughs> so, right now, that thing's going back in, and it's going to be printing all the colors, and we're going to show you this process. I know it's going to be probably boring for you, but it'll work. Yeah. I have a good time doing it. It's kind of relaxing. So, I'm going to come back to that in just a few seconds. But I'll show you what I did last night. We got all these things cut out and weeded. That's what I was t saying earlier. And these are 6x6 uh, six six yep. decals. Those are going to be for sale. And then you we've got... 10 by 10s Yep. Well, you can't see them, but they're there. And then, of course, we got... All of those right there that are going to be going on mugs, we're going to do those today. So let's come back over here to this printer. Holy crap, it's already done. Yeah. Hold on, before you take that off of there. Look how nicely that turned out. I know it's going to be upside down. But, uh, so this is his process and what he does. We have to do this for each and every individual shirt that we make. Yep, uh, come this way. There's no machines, no nothing. I like to put it on this one first. Birch. Okay, we'll go this way. This is my other heat press. I've got this one set to where it hovers above it instead of actually touching the shirt. And that way it's set at 330 degrees as well. But it doesn't actually touch the shirt. What this is doing is hovering right above it. And then uh, it'll sit there for 65 seconds to help the curing process. And then I'll bring it out here to this one. And that little green thing right back there... That, that's his pre-treat machine. Every shirt's got to go through there. It gets a coating of some chemicals and whatever. And then, uh, yeah. So that's basically our process. And he's going to get ready to... I'm how I do it on the... This is how I put the shirts on. What I'm putting this on is called a platen. You can see it's Lexan. About quarter inch thick piece of Lexan. Bolted down. And screen printers do the same thing that I do pretty much when it comes to this. I just pull it back, make sure it's even. I put my frame around, tuck all the excess underneath, and hit the button. Simple as that. That's it. Now this one's done. You see, the color is still very vibrant. It's one of the reasons why I hover before I actually touch the ink because it keeps it helps keep the vibrancy. And this one will open up on its own when it's done. So I'm gonna get me a good shot of these uh, new shirts there. Ain't and those pretty? Uh, everything. Everything that uh, is made, the shirts, the decals, um, 
the uh, dog tags, the mugs, I do all of that. I've got a uh, vinyl cutter over here. Uh, it's a Roland GS24. Uh, it's not one of the cheap crickets that you get from the craft store. This is an industrial uh, vinyl cutter. I do embroidery. I've got a 15 needle embro uh, commercial embroidery machine. Um, this heat press right here is, is an industrial machine. It weighs about 250 pounds. It's actually heavier than that printer, Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't, well, that printer's just awkward. I mean, um, you can see, well, you can kind of see how wide it is. Yeah, Watch this. Here we go. And the magic. Look at that. Now it is done. And look at that. Nicely fresh mint shirts. Yeah. So, but all right, well, we're going to get out of here, and uh, I'm going to face this around to me, but we're going to get out of here, and we're going to get some mugs done, and we're going to try and get some of these other decals weeded out, and uh, we'll be back with you later, and we'll see ya. Just as a little update, I have to do this just because Tommy is Tommy. So, he's sitting here, we're doing, we're trying to get the mugs done, if I can, if it'll focus in on it. So anyways, come on, focus, focus. Anyways, so, he's doing the mugs, and we do them the same way that we do the, uh, the dog tags. So, I'll show you something real quick. And this right here, that is the mug press. Kind of like, it's a smaller version of the heat press, but just for the mugs. And I'm sitting over here, and Tommy yeah. starts bitching. Shut up. Well, he done and went and burned himself. I hate you. Yes, he does hate me. So, I, got, I have to show you this. So, he had to go up to the kitchen. And just because, I'm going to do this. Hey, Tommy. Wave hi. What is on your hand? Hang on. You guys will laugh at this. Hi. He's got a freaking oven mitt on his hand. This is at 360 degrees at first. It doesn't matter. You're still the dumb one that burnt yourself. I told you in the beginning with this big heat press right here. He always has to burn himself at least once. Shut up. I, 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 no, 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 no. So anyways, yeah. He went and done it. He burned himself today. Hopefully it'll be the last one, but I just thought I'd give you that little update. Now he's over there here crying. Go boo boo right there. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, so 
just had to pop in here, give you a little update. I know we're going to have a lot of time lapse going on. I'm over here cutting out uh, decals. Weeding decals. You're not cutting. Your Whatever. Right. I'm I'm doing it. You know. Let's see here. Yep. Say we're doing ten by ten ones now. So, but yeah, we're getting there. So, anyways, we'll be back later. All right, guys, I'm back with you. I'm actually on my way home now. We just got done about three hours worth of work. Got a lot of shirts done, got some mugs done, and we got some decals done. We're going to be uh, getting ready to sell those, as you know. And then, uh, but I just wanted to say, hey, thanks for watching our video. And if you like us, subscribe and like our page. Also, if you haven't been a part of it, go over to Facebook, where you're catfishing on Facebook. Find us, like us, join our page, and uh, we'll give you an update when we get down to the Catfish Conference. We're going to go live down there on YouTube, and we're going to go live on Facebook. We're going to do both, so keep an eye out on both pages, and uh, hope to see you there. And remember, like and subscribe, because we're trying to get out there. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.